Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're going to disassemble Epson Express XP7100. And this is a workflow version which we just, uh, from beginning, we go all the way uh, to the end. If you have quest any questions or uh, want to see some part uh, that's uh, not clear to you, you want us to have a more specific video, uh, please comment and uh, I will see if I can accommodate that. Also, if you feel this is go too fast and you want to have a paper copy of the workflow, we can go to bchtechnologies.com and go to printer parts and Epson and install uninstall workflow. All right, so you can find this XP7100. And in the workflow, so uh, this is the section. So we just actually we just finished the first section and uh, we removed the paper tree and the duplexer. So now we're on the second section, which I removed the scanner. And uh, you can see uh, here, we're going to turn back to the printer. And uh, from a top down view, we're going to find the two silver screw. SS means a screw with actual silver. And SK means a screw, which is black. And let's do it. So in the back, and we remove the screws. And the side panel can be peeled off. And now we uh, can unscrew the first uh, circuit board. And uh, by the way, on the right hand side of your workflow sheet, you're going to see the parts number and show you which part you can remove from the, each procedure. And now uh, just make sure all the cables are attached and also the FFC cable. And the, uh, there's one big one and there's one small one. And uh, take a look from underneath, make sure everything is just attached. Then just hold the scanner, hold it towards you, and it will come right off. Also make sure to take a picture before you do that. So when you put it back, you know which wire goes which. Uh, if you don't have a picture, and uh, what you do, go to bch.technology.com and uh, download the picture. Now we turn the printer around and uh, facing the front of the printer. You need to release the locks on the printhead. And to do this, you need to turn the wheel uh, the, on the on your left side, turn the counterclockwise. And then now you can remove a, t a long plate from the top and just take it off. Now we need to take uh, off those uh, corner plates. Uh, uh, on the workflow, it says uh, remove the right the right plate, and uh, you can start with the left if you want. Take the top plate off, then left or right is up to you. Now the front panel LCD can be removed, and now we can remove the waste tank. I realize the angle is not that great for this waste tank removal. I'm going to shoot another video show you how to do it. Now we can take the printhead and the CSIC board out. After you remove the timing belt, uh, make sure that you save the, uh, the CR sensor. The CR sensor is mounted on the printed uh, carriage assembly. Uh, next are those uh, FFC cables, and uh, basically uh, just run them through the, the loop and uh, take them out. And next, we need to remove the pulley. Turn the printer back to you, uh, uh, towards you, and uh, just use a screwdriver, remove the bigger spring and uh, the cable on the cartridge return is going to be loose and you can take the pulley out. And now you can take the drive cable out. Now we're going to remove the printer rails and uh, there's one upper rail, there's lower rail and just unscrew all the screws and the rail and the print uh, the printhead carriage will come off.
Okay, for those of you who have a faulty ejection sensor, here's where the ejection sensor is. Uh, if that sensor is faulty, uh, it always show you have a uh, uh, paper jam. Although you don't have any paper there, it'll show you a paper jam. If you want to get to the sensor, and uh, you need to remove the paper guide and uh, the top part of the rail. Uh, of course, you don't need to take the motor off if you only want to get to the ejection sensor. Here's a nice and juicy ejection sensor. Uh, however, you don't really have to go through this, this trouble to fix the sensor. Uh, I may just shoot another video. Say, say, um, what you can do is you can uh, just uh, install the sensor at another place that has the same function. Uh, now you can unwind those wires and uh, remove the power supply. And the waste pump. And I don't know why Epson designed the main board to be uh, horizontal and is under the printer. And normally Epson designed it another way, it designed vertical, so you don't have ink drip on it. And this model is very, very funny. It's really hard to get to the main board. Okay, the rest of stuff are pretty easy, just uh, straightforward uh, unscrew and remove. Again, uh, if you get somewhere stuck, uh, just leave a comment or shoot us an email, and uh, we can see if we can help you out. I hope this uh, video helps your project. Uh, please visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.